Hello, Mike and Jessica. How are you? Hi, Hi. good. How are you? I'm good. Being from Toronto, I got to say, thank you for shooting the film here. Thank you for we having love us. Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you know, we're always happy to have you. Uh, Jessica, I got to start with you because I, I am a big fan of the book. I read it when it came out um, and you did it such justice in the screenplay. And I wanted to ask, was it, a, was it an extra cathartic experience going through this again and kind of rewriting it for this film? Yeah, you know, I think the cathartic experience really was in writing the book. That was getting something off my chest that had, you know, weighed on me for half my life yeah I think the movie version of it interestingly enough kind of pushed me through the healing process in a really profound way that I didn't anticipate because you know it's a the story is fictional the character is fictional but it's inspired and there are parts of me in this story right. and you know, in this character. And so sometimes if I would write something and people, our producers, our wonderful director over here, uh, Mila didn't like it, you know, uh, I think unwittingly they would be saying, I don't, I don't like you making that decision because I was putting a lot of myself into it. And I think for me, it opened my eyes a lot to where I had gotten stuck in the healing process right. um, and challenged me to um, just kind of, you know, take my agency back and have more of a voice, which is ultimately where our, we leave with our character. Absolutely. And Mike, you know, I think you hit the jackpot, uh, not just with Mila and also her being a producer, but Kiara, like the two of them are so, you know, these are, this is a very heavy to play and you know dark material you know uh, let's just go there you know dark material how challenging was it for you and how helpful was it to have such great talent in Mila and Kiara um well I think it was essential because you know for all the reasons you just said you we you know the, the thing about Mila is that she can she walks through that material she has such great comic timing there's something so sort of watchable and personal about her she's such a great actor um I think, you know, without Mila, I think it would have been a very different film and a very difficult film. And it could have tipped yeah. because it really is a fine line. It could have easily tipped on either side of that that crevice. And then Kiara, Kiara is just an extraordinarily, you know, new talent. You know, she's so, you know, the moment we saw her, it was a it was a slam dunk, you know, and the two of them together and they sort of they work together quite a bit. And for those who don't know, they basically both play the same character. And so, right. you know, they, you know, they, so they had to work very closely together and, yeah. you know, and it was kind of, you know, often Mila was acting off the back of something that Kiara, a choice that Kiara had made. And wow. so, you know, keeping that, those things together were, was, you know, pretty much my biggest task on the show, but it actually won, it was such a joy. Yeah. And, and, uh, you know, Jessica, what was it like to watch Mila work? And, and watch your characters come to life like this. Pretty magical. I mean, <laughs> have a world that you create on the page, then see it materialize like that. Um, it, it, it's completely a once in a lifetime experience um, that, you know, just well, build. Hopefully, hopefully not once in a lifetime. Hopefully not once in a lifetime. Yeah, hopefully now, not. For now. <laughs> hopefully not. Come on, you got to have <laughs> Gotta have some more books in you and some more movies yeah. to come out of them, right? Oh, I do. I do. My publisher says I do. Um, <laughs> but it was great seeing Mila, mostly because I think I saw firsthand how easily this could have gone sideways with anybody else in the role. You yeah. really needed someone like Mila to play a character who makes choices that you might not always like or agree with, right. but you still are on her side and rooting for her. And that's a pretty tricky line to walk. Um, and I really don't think anyone else but Mila could have done it. But the other thing about Mila as well is in this role, she has to act in the moment with the actors in front of her, but she also has this other narrative running on inside, which you know she shares with the audience. And that's quite a difficult thing to do, to be in the moment and actually be thinking something else and sharing that and making that work for the audience who are listening to it She's yeah absolutely yeah well you've done a great job with it and and congratulations uh you know best of success with it and again come come make more movies here in toronto okay we're coming, we're yeah, coming. We're coming. the british thanks for your time take care <laughs> thank you bye-bye <laughs>